What's up, Speed Fam? Sorry we missed you last week. That's my bad, y'all. We back at it again with another banger here today. We've got the Speed in the back. We've got a lot of the stuff wrapped up from last time. Today, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be throwing on the turbo. Shout out to everybody who's already subscribed. I definitely appreciate it. I think we're at 63 subscribers, which is, I mean, within the first video, we got up to like 40. Second video up to like 55, third video, now we're at 63. So I just wanna thank y'all so much for showing all your love and support. Couldn't thank you enough. Also wanna let you guys know that at 100 subscribers, we're gonna be doing a $50 giveaway gift card to Best Buy. I think it's Best Buy right now. I'm not really quite sure. We'll work out the statistics once we get to that point. With that being said, last video we went ahead and we cleaned up the coils. We installed the coilovers. We also did some adjustments on the camera arms in the rear to make sure that it's sitting flush. You know what I'm saying? Wow. We also drilled out the strut towers on the top so that way we could allow clearance for easier adjustability of camber up front. Let me show you what we've been working on so far. We test fitted the rims in the rear. Everything is looking real good there. We got the rear coils, rear suspension on. We've also got the front coils on. Drilled out the strut towers. Off of video, I've been doing a little bit of work here and there. I installed some of this gold heat tape all the way down. If you can see, it's even down on the bottom heat cover. I also installed some heat wrap, sprayed it with some clear coat. So yeah, I mean, that's how far we got in the last episode. I know y'all missed out on the gold and the heat wrap. Do apologize for that. I'm just trying to get this car done as quick as possible so we could be out on the road with our boys. We got the uh, GTX 3071. We got the oil return line from Eric at Mazda Speed Wire Tuck on Facebook. And we have a bunch of these other lines. We'll start tightening them up. So hang in there, Speed Fam. It's going to be a tight one. All right, you see me down there? I see you. What up, Speed Fam? All right, let's put on this turbo. It's a heavy mouth. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, shit. Babe, there's a gasket up there somewhere. You see it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Silver? <laughs> yeah. You know all my jams, you know the little baby, you know that little TJ, you know Pop Smoke. Shit, those are all the heroes. One of them dead though. R.I.P. Rest in peace, Pop. <laughs> Wait, I gotta get that leg movement. <laughs> you know, I just gotta come drink some water. Water. Cause I'm thirstier than a motherfucker. Hey, don't f your fiberglass. That shit makes you itchy as a motherfucker. I got fiberglass in me. You can't see it. That's what she said. It's itchy. It's itchy for shizzle. But hey, damn, that shit looks tight. Tight, tight, tight. Oh, tight. I tell you, yeah. Look at it. All right, I need to tighten that shit up. We 
We are the Speed Family. How's that bolt supposed to get tightened? Huh? 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 All right, y'all, we got the turbo all bolted up. Now what I'll be doing is we'll be working on probably the hardest part here. And it's gonna be the oil return line. I have to fit the wastegate up in this tight space. Let me show you. All right, so lines are tightened, feed line is tightened. So I'm gonna test fit the return line and I'll get back to you with an update. All right, y'all, test fitment of the oil return line. Looking real good here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just do like a few little like marks here. So I'm gonna go get a Sharpie, I'm gonna mark it, make sure I know where it is. And then on the top part, I'm gonna do the same exact thing on the top part, mark it so that I know where it is. Take the whole thing off, put it back on. But when I put it back on, it's, it's gonna be tight like a tiger, mate. Hell yeah. All right, so then of course we'll be moving on to the wastegate. Look how close that shit is right there. I kind of don't like that. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit more bending there too. It's all trial and error, it's all trial and error. All right, uh, so I'll get back to you when it's all tightened up. All right, we got the line tightened down. Got it tightened up here as well. Hopefully we're not leaking any oil. I also bent this side of the way a little bit more so that way we're not hitting when we go to plug in the uh, either coolant feed or coolant return. Now, I think I'm planning on installing the wastegate, clocking it, leaving it a little bit loose just so that way we can uh, clock it the way that we need to. Then we need the downpipe, but we're coming along real tight. Look how clean that looks too. Perfect fitment. I got the return line in. I also got the wastegate in, still loose. Also got the dump tube. The thing is looking pretty dope right there, dope. Coming out right at the bottom of the car. Whoop! Hell yeah. We gonna be getting it right here. It's gonna be the remix. I think I'm gonna end it there for tonight. Everything is looking real good. We got the wastegate in. We got the dump tube just loose up there. Uh, I still need to be able to adjust everything and tighten it down. Yeah, we're rolling out. You can see the little turbo peeking over there. Oh yeah. All right, y'all. I just want to thank you all for showing up once again. Appreciate the love. Appreciate the support. Remember, if you're not subscribed already, it doesn't take too much time just to click. Stay tuned. On the next video, let me show you what we got coming up. All right, y'all. So we're going to be installing uh, this carbon fiber vent in the front bumper. We're going to be installing these covers. I cut this one out. The next video, I'll show you guys how exactly to cut it out and bolt it up to the bumper where the gorilla goes. So stay tuned. All right, Speed Fam, that's gonna do it for this one. Don't forget about at 100 subscribers, we're gonna be doing that $50 giveaway gift card. I've actually changed it, so it's gonna be a $50 giveaway gift card to one of the lucky subscribers, and it's gonna be wherever you're gonna be wanting to go shop a little bit, $50 back in your pocket. So I was gonna help out. Stay tuned for the next video next Thursday. We're gonna keep on bringing the heat. Like I stated, we're gonna be installing the vents next time. Y'all stay blessed out there. See you on the next one.